Hey y'all, I'm Lockleth and in today's video I'm getting into the garden path which I have spoken about before in one of my cozy Steam Next Fest or demo related videos. I'll add a link in the description to all of my like top five lists of games that you should probably play on Switch and on Steam and I'll include the video of when I briefly discussed this but I actually have, thank you to the publishers for the Nintendo Switch code, of course. I have the game on Switch now to try it out. For y'all today, it was developed by Carrot Cake and published by them and Mooncat Games. All the links that you need for those, the devs, the publishers, and a link to the Nintendo eShop where you can purchase the game for yourself is in the description box below as well. Where forgotten statuses and newfound friends await, find yourself a new wilderness, discover a secret garden, and your role within it in these dense woodlands. After all, the Garden Path is a life sim that celebrates the tranquil and melancholic and the pensive, and a safe space to shape and grow as you like. This I kind of compare to Cozy Grove, where you take it day by day. It's a daily thing you get into and play a little bit of it. And then you basically run out of things to do until the next IRL day. So this is perfect for those that just like a 30 minute, 45 minute experience every day. Kind of something chill and cozy. So let's get into the Garden Path. Time in the Garden Path runs in concert to the real world. Small changes happen each day. Just like the garden's visitors that come and go, the Garden Path is best enjoyed in small visits. All plants, trees, and flora that appear are fictional reflections of the real world equivalents. While not playing the garden path, always be careful picking, inspecting, or eating anything that you have found or foraged. Only ever do so following the advice of a professional. And it's perfect timing of when I'm playing this because I don't know if it'll come across in the audio, but it is raining IRL outside and the vibes are immaculate. So let's get into what I look like. This is such a simple like little scaler from lighter skin to darker skin, hair color as well. Ill began gardens though they res rested there and felt every moment of it returned to me. A swan song for all the things he was. I hear it then, I hear it now. Follow the path southward and you shall surely find it too. It's a little dark here, can you see me? Your lantern should help light the way. That's better, I see you now. I'm closer. I'm just a little further down. I played this as a demo on Steam, so it is nice to actually have a controller this time around. I'm just over here. Can you come over and talk to me? You've come far, haven't you? I hope you brought a second pair of boots. Let's take a moan so we don't forget who we are. Careful, some of what grows here may cut or sting you. It's not personal. Bracken is safe, nettles and bramble may harm you. Oh yeah, we got to focus in to learn about the different flora. It's good to record all the stuff that you come across. I think you unlock things by doing it from what I can remember. This is a little bit more different than playing it on Steam. Yeah, 
There's a birch tree up ahead. Maybe now you could practice using your hatchet. <laughs> Little does he know I've already been doing that, but... I think it's just up ahead. Do you remember what I told you? Any good gardener keeps a record. I should learn who wrote the mysterious note is our main thing. Now we're kind of free to do stuff. Um, yeah, here's our map. We are up here. We need to go, I guess, down to here. I've got one half of Secateur. I don't know, clip clippers of some sort. You'll eventually be able to move stuff around. Can I do that now? Yep, here we go. Interesting. I want to move things around. These are all the different NPCs you'll come across, and I'm thinking... I believe when you have something they need, you put it in here, kind of like, um, kind of like mail. But enough dilly-dallying. Let's, let's go down. See if we can figure out who wrote this mysterious note. Oh, I can pick carrot flowers already. It's good to, like, trade, I think, certain things. It's a very addicting game for foragers. <laughs> because uh, you just want to keep doing it. You want to keep inspecting stuff. Keep foraging. Bridge, which means there should be a campsite over here. Yep, right here. And we can already brew tea, apparently. Brew some chamomile tea, maybe? Piping hot tea. This is kind of achievements. It's written in the stars. You just look and see what you achieved. And there's so many different ones, but we got the brew a pot of tea. You can brew by visiting an idle campfire. You just need a vessel to keep your hot tea in. Different herbs, botanicals, and spices can be brewed, and different combos will yield different effects. But there's so many different ones that you can unlock, like decorate your tent, obtain a shovel, finish a project with 10 plants, uh, run an errand for a resident, compost, pot a cutting, transplant a plant. So many things. And there's also a day to night cycle at the top bar that you can see there as well. Okay, this person's on the move, so we need to hurry and get to them. Ooh, I think I, ooh, I, I hurt myself. See, it's the whole nettles, you have to be careful. There you are. Oh, um, hello. Are you a ranger too? A uh, ranger? What's up? It's the duty of a ranger to keep peace in the natural world. Oh, and always be prepared. You could be a ranger too, but you need the first edition of your guide to be a park scout ranger. You could have my copy. But it's the only one I've ever found. What's in the book? Page 12 states a park scout ranger cub should always be equipped with a camper's pocket knife. And must always lend one to a fellow ranger unprepared. This, well, isn't a pocket knife exactly. I lost the other half somewhere in the garden. 
Last I remember having it was by a small shrine in the Northern Gardens. That's that thing we picked up earlier. And now it's a better knife, don't you think? Um, sure. Yes, I agree. Uh, yeah, let's do the cutters first, because that would be helpful. Really? Something for me? Oh, the second half. I thought it was gone for good. Truth is, I was trying to achieve my gardener's badge. I'm not much of a gardener if I can't take care of my tools. Unless... Oh! I could use my knot skills to tie it back together for you. There. A diagonal lash will do the trick. You should have it. A gift is a gift, after all. There's all kinds of bushes and shrubbery around here. Each with different uses and properties. You can use these cutters to collect them. Hey, how about do me a favor? I kind of used the last of my rope on those cutters. But that's perfect. Because page 44 explains we can use the resources of the natural world. You can use those cutters to fetch me some bracken. That stuff is everywhere. Ten sprigs should do it. And in return, I'd be willing to trade you some of my tools. Yes, we need tools. Let's ask him about this note real quick while we've got him. A note? Like, maybe a page from your guide to be a park scout ranger? Uh, I don't think so. Darn. I'm missing page 123. I'm thinking it could be a really important one. Okay, he didn't tell us anything about the note, but he's missing his own page. Uh, so we've met him, and now it'll show his little icon, Augustus. There's another guy down here. Let's go see. Oh. Tom, with an H, really? <laughs> oh, hello. You've come a long way to be here, is that right? Uh, yes. I had a feeling. You know, you have that certain look about you. Not to mind. I'm Tom. I cultivate a garden just over from the coppice. I wander the old gardens from time to time. They carry memory, and some say a song. You're the only soul I've seen for some time. Perhaps you're here to begin a garden of your own? I think I will. Then you'll need some tools. I see you already have a pair of secateurs. Those are fine for breaking things down, but suppose if you want to build something better. Ah, <gasps> it gave me a trowel. I've been keeping this one on me, so as to not be wasteful. I've been eager to give it away. This trowel is all you need to bring new life to the garden. Well, you'll need seeds as well, of course. Speaking of, why don't we cut a deal? I collect seeds of all sizes, some harder to find than others. I could always use some new equipment for my garden over the way. Should you have any to spare, or anything else worthwhile, speak to me, and I'll be glad to supply you with new seeds. Uh, do you know about this note? A note? How intriguing. Would you let me see? Yes, I think I might know who wrote it. Better yet, I think I know how we can find out. There's an old stone statue in this garden, do you know it? Search it, if the author of this note is who I think it is. They will be leading you there. Let's buy some seeds. Okay, fulfill requests to make a trade. Every character has different preferences. Uh, each type of item has a different... I don't know what you call it. Quality or something? So if you have a handy item, you can trade him for this, I think, right? Let's buy... We can get a carrot seed. We have plenty of twigs. So we got some carrot seeds by trading him with some twigs that we had. There's another traveler over here we can go and meet. Let's go meet them real quick and then we will probably collect some bramble along the way. 
This is gorse. He was selling gorse seeds, but we don't really need them right now. Oh, we're already... We can find them out in the wild. We don't need to trade. More ginger. See, this is the addicting part of the game, is just collecting. It's like you can never get enough. Ah, bramble, finally. So we need um, 10 of these, right? Oh, he doesn't want bramble. He wants bracken sprigs. See, that's why I should have this on. I need to be getting bracken, not bramble. I was like, why am I not doing this right? He says they're all over the garden. Myrtle. Bracken, bracken, bracken. Bracken. Right here. He needs 10. Okay, we've got 10 of those now. I want to make sure I don't hit any nettles. Oh, it's the fisherman. Yes. Perfect. Footsteps like that I can hear from a mile away. You have to take better care with your steps. There's delicate life in these gardens. Oh, sorry. That's okay. You see, there are songfish in the waters. They are perhaps unlike other fish you know. They exist and thrive within the vibrations of melody. Melody moves through water better than the air we breathe, you see. But Melody sounds much sweeter above the surface. So sweet, in fact, that the fish can hardly resist when they hear a song from what they see as the sky. Why don't you try it? Here, take this. Try whistling a tune while you fish. If you get it right, they will come to you. Okay, now we get to do some fishing, which is an interesting mechanic in this game. Okay, yeah, it's this bit. You just sing kind of around with the left stick. And then fish will kind of appear. So I'm going to stay in this little circle. Let's try that again. Ah, you have to like hit it at the right time, y'all. Yay, I got a goldfish. Okay, it all has to do with the timing of it. <laughs> you have to wait till the fish actually hits the line, but you don't feel anything, you just see it. Which, if there is like a vibration, it might be a little bit easier, but... It is still very interesting. I like the whistling. Ooh, poplar fish. Sweet, we got a few fish. Well, I'll be. I didn't take you for fisher folk. Goes to show that at the heart of any person is patience. You just need to uncover it. Tell you what, not all fish are so easy to come by this time of year. I stock fish of all times and seasons. For a fellow fisher folk, I'll be willing to trade. Just let me know. What do we have? Ooh, a moonfish. Common fish. A bark fish. Interesting. How much for a... I don't know, a moonfish. Okay, nothing that I have. I've got natural, pretty, handy. Rustic. There's a handy one. We can give him... Not our carrot seed. We can give him one of these. Hmm. Alright. Okay, let's go to this area because I think... Yes, that's where the old statue is. So let's go that way. We've got all the bracken that Augustus needs. 
Oh yeah, we have our lantern that I haven't been using. It's almost sunset, but I mean, this is set for um, real time, right? Yeah. So once it gets closer to nighttime IRL, it'll actually be nighttime in the game. And I might show some clips of that right here in case you want to see kind of what nighttime looks like. I'll just talk over as I wander. <laughs> okay, so we are now at... Yes. You notice a small yet deep divot in the statue's side. Between the tips of your two fingers, you're able to retrieve a deliberately furled scrape scrap of paper. Now we can combine the scrap we found. with the actual paper. This is where it all began. Beautiful gardens, though they were, I rested here and felt every moment of it return to me. A swan song for all the things he was. I hear it and then I hear it now. Follow the path southward and you shall surely find it too. Oh, there's gonna be garden residents that you meet. They all look like vegetables. I'm excited to meet them. Okay, we did those things for Tom. We've got the stuff for Augustus, except for he's missing a page. And then here's us and our items. Eventually we'll be able to get more clothes, it seems. Maybe some glasses, a hat. We'll get an actual bigger shovel. Oh, we have a cup? I didn't realize that. Let's go see... Tom and Augustus. I hear her bell. I hear it. Where are you at? I hear your little bell. There you are. May it be the first trade of many. Okay. <laughs> I've been giving it some thought. And I think with just a little elbow grease, this place could really be turned around. How exciting. Why don't you put that trowel and seeds to good use and grow something new? Oh, how I would love to see seeds sown and grown again in these woods. Come back to me when you're done. Yes, the statue. Ah, the finished note. My suspicions must be correct. Although, even when finished, the message remains cryptic. The tear was perhaps the author's very own MacGuffin. The note itself written for a different purpose. There's secrets in these gardens, my friend. Wonderful secrets. Lost words and tucked away thoughts. Should you find any, bring them to me. And we can start piecing it all together. Okay, we will figure out the secrets of the garden. But I must find Augustus to give him these... Bramble? Bracken? One of those two. Oh, hello! Hey, Scout. How's it going? Really? Something for me? That's a good haul. A deal's a deal. I've got lots of tools on hand. I usually find them lying around the various gardens. But also trading, too. I'll take anything I can use out here in the woods. Especially if it's delicious. Oh! Thanks again. Guess we'll see each other on the path. Okay, we've got to sow three seeds. And then he'll teach us, Tom will teach us, secrets of the garden. Let's go back to where we started up here. Just add a pin up there. Pin it. We'll walk that way. Okay, we have made it back. I've got to figure out how to, I think, create soil. I think it takes some time to make soil, so let's just compost some of this stuff that we don't need. <gasps> we got a new star called Taylor. <laughs> Pick 25 spring flowers. We got Luetta. Five stars unlocked. We got Audrey. We met three folk. You meet the friendliest faces in the most unfamiliar places. The old gardener discovered the old statue, long gone and his work undone to remember is to bring alive once again. 
10 stars unlocked, we got Isadora to put a star into your bucket. Oh, we unlocked 10 stars. Let's place our tent. I want to show you all how that looks. Around here? Yes. Perfect. Place it back here. And then we have a gas lamp we can put anywhere. And here's what our what our tent looks like. So soil. Oh, there we go. Seedlings might take a few days to grow. Uh, depends on the number of factors. You can see how happy a seedling is by highlighting it with Y. Different plants grow quicker in different soils. Some plants also like more light than others. Give plants more space to allow it. I'm not sure what that means, but... So we have sown one seed so far, so maybe we should go get some more and we'll be right back here to plant them. You found another page? And perfectly intact, too. They must have left forgotten for some time. You see, there were folk here in the old gardens some years ago. Kind folk, who held this garden in their arms for as long as they could carry it. Well, a thing often leads to another. But a journal? It's curious. I never had either down for a writer. Let's not stop here. If this is the place, there are more pages hidden. I'm sure of it. Ten more, perhaps. And we might just have the start of something. And then I think it's time for a certain seed to be sown. Uh, let's buy some more seeds from him. Possibly some more carrot seeds. Let's try and get one more type of seed for just for fun. Um, let's do pansies, maybe. Oh yeah, we can easily do some pansies. So let's do... Do two... Let's do three pansies. Oh, because I'm getting three all at once, I have to do probably several different ones. Which one's the handy one? Cool. Okay. Now we can go back to... I also figured out how to run. There is a stamina bar. I'm going to head back to my campsite and I will plant these. Now let me keep these separate from, I guess, those. But I don't want to mess up this at all, so we are going to plant these here. And just see how they do separate from those. You know, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason behind what I'm doing here. <laughs> um, but what can you do? Well, I guess this is where I'm going to end for today. This is, like I said, a day-to-day -day thing. You kind of take it one day at a time, a little bit here and there. It's not something you're supposed to rush through. So I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of the beginnings of the Garden Path. It is out on Switch, of course. It is on Steam as well if you don't want to play it on Switch, but I think this is a perfect Switch game, of course. So Thank y'all so much for watching.